Hey YouTube, it's a Sunday, so I'm cooking. I gotta buy those glasses that are, uh, um, what do they call them? Uh, uh, glare resistant. It's Sunday, and I'm doing my thing I always do on a Sunday, which is cook some good. And this week, check out what I'm doing. A ribeye steak. Hum -hum stuff. I do this quite often. That's a ribeye, seasoned. I'm letting it sit now for about 45 minutes to get room temperature. Let's just cover that up. Look how nice this looks. Beautiful. It looks beautiful. There are some uh, baked sweet potatoes I had, but here's what I use on that pre-cooking. Liquid smoke, I put some of that, rub it on there, get it wet. Uh, put a little bit of this on there also. That's my wet mixture. Not a lot, you just wanna get them wet. You can see this is not wet, just a little moist so things stick. Himalayan pink salt, I love this stuff. I, Spread it all over it. Then this. Weber, Weber Cowboy Seasoning and Rub. I'm trying it out. And then I always like to give it a dusting of garlic powder. So that's what's going on with this boy. I did that about an hour ago, threw it in the fridge. Now it's just sitting here chilling. It's a two and a half pounder. Two and a half pound cowboy steak. And uh, stay tuned for the next uh, stages. Right now I'm gonna do my first part of cooking. I'm heating up some butter in a pan and I'm actually using avocado oil. Use it as a high flash point. I also like to use uh, light tasting olive oil because you can cook with that at higher temperatures. So get these two together, get them heated up, a little hot. You want to get the pan nice and hot, medium to high. You don't want to burn the butter though. And when you're mixed, that's called a compound butter. And check that out. Don't be shy, come closer. This is going to heat up. I got my, my steak here. This is going to be ready in another 30 seconds to a minute. I like to put the fan on so the house don't. Uh, Get all smoked. And you can see that butter starting to heat up. This is gonna be ready. What we're gonna do is sear this baby for about four to five minutes on each side to get a nice crust. Possibly not even that long. I got the oven preheating right now. It's 250. This is a two and a half pound steak. So what we want to do is sear the outside, get it nice and crispy, put it on this nice cooling, uh, one of these drip racks, going to set it on there, cooks in the oven. So it thoroughly will cook through. I put a glove on, all my seasonings and stuff, now let me show you what we do. I really need a cast iron skillet or one of these hex, hex skillets I saw they're called. They look nice. You just do this now, like I said, four to five minutes on each side until we get a nice crust. So I'm going to do this and I'll come back before I put it in the oven to show you how it should look. Stay tuned. Steak has been seared. It's ready to go in the oven. Check this out on both sides. That's how it works. See how dark crust we got going there? And all this will cook, you know, off or whatever. It's going to get in there. Hard to sear. But that's that. Seared it. 
ready to go in the oven. Some people cook in the oven first and then sear it. I do this first. I like to seal in the juices. That's just me. Either way, there's no right or wrong. I've done it both. It's almost both times. See you soon. Just a reminder, in the oven it goes 250 for about 45 minutes. That's a two and a half pound steak. So I'm gonna set my timer. See you on 45. Now it's time to cut it. And I hope the camera can see, but this is how I usually do it. I'll go across the bone here. There it is. That piece I'll gnaw on the bone later. And watch this. Now we'll slice it to see how it came in the middle. Look at that. That's what you call a perfect medium rare. Beautiful. We're going to enjoy the steak that's cooked. Perfectly neat. Look at this. Even throughout the middle. Not too red. Not too done. Just beautiful. That's a steak. See you. Thank you for tuning in.